hydride one so here for a rectangle we get angle of incidence is given 60 degrees then how to find group velocity and phase velocity from the problem angle of incidence that is theta is given 60 degrees so this angle of incidence is also called as wave angle or tilt angle Now, how to find group velocity and phase velocity? So, first of all, understand what is group velocity and what is phase velocity. Group velocity means it is a velocity at which group of waves travel. That velocity is called as group velocity and it is abbreviated as Vg. Now, what is phase velocity? So, it is a actual phase rate change which is always greater than velocity of light. So, it is represented with Vp. Now recall the relation between group velocity and angle of incidence. So we know that group velocity is equal to c into sin theta. So where theta is the angle of incidence that is 60 degrees given and c is the velocity of light that is 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. Now substitute this data in this equation then we get 3 into 10 power 8 into sin 60. So by simplifying this, we will get 2.6 into 10 power 8 meters per second. This is the group velocity for the given problem. Now what is the phase velocity? Now we have one relation between angle of incidence and phase velocity. So that is phase velocity Vp equal to C by sin theta. C means velocity of light. So that is 3 into 10 power 8 divided by sin and theta is 60. So by simplifying this, we will get 3.46 into 10 power 8 meters per second. And this is the phase velocity for the given problem. And this is the process of simplification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.